Okay. I'm sometimes just like looking and waiting till Fifi tells me what I have to do. <laughs> and not to forget! We don't forget anything! Welcome back to our episode 5 of Bruin Banter. It seems like a lot has happened. For example, we can film this episode outside, six feet apart with our mask on, which I'm really excited about. But we also competed at Berkeley against Cal, where we scored a 196.925. And then we had our last home meet in Pauli, which was the senior meet, but also the pride meet, where we scored a 197.1. And again, we, not, we didn't just do it for gymnastics, we did it for something greater. We contributed this meet to the Pride community and we also honored the seniors. Which brings us to our special guest, my fellow senior and one of my best friends, Kendall Poston. Welcome. Thanks for having me, P. And hi guys. I can't believe we're sitting on campus. There's people and we're all wearing masks and I can't believe we've made it here. So since this was the senior meet, how did you feel knowing this is your last time competing in Pauli Pavilion. I just feel like there was so many emotions going into that day. Honestly, it being shared with the Pride Meet made it a little bit easier to just not get too wrapped up in being sad that it was my last time in Pauli. I feel like I just felt joyful the entire time. And I think it was a good marriage of both nostalgia for leaving Pauli, but also joy and pride for what we're doing outside of gymnastics. Exactly. I think it was a great way to end our season and career in Pauli with what Bruins do, what we do, contributing to something bigger and still having our senior meet. It was a great combination. The energy in Pauli that day was just so special. There was so much love and I just felt it from my teammates, but also just from the fans that weren't even there. Like I just felt like the meet was about love. So before we talk a little more about you, Kenny, let's start with the meet recap. We started on vault where three of your seniors competed. Kenny with a season high scoring a 9.875 and Nia scoring a 9.9 and winning the event. And Pula scoring a season best of a 9.875 as well. Wow, she's smart, she remembers. And then we moved over to Mars. Mars doing her usual Mars bars routine and scoring a 9.9, winning the event. And then we moved over to the third event, Beam, where you, Kenny, let it off perfectly with a 9-8 and Sati scoring a flawless 9-9 routine. And then our last event, last performance on floor ever. We started off great and then finished with three consecutive 9.925s and Nia closed it off with her viral routine one more time in Pauli Pavilion. And this rotation led us to a season high of a 49.5. Another highlight that I definitely want to point out is Mercedes Sanchez, our Bruin sister. Last year, her senior meet did not happen because of COVID-19. So this was just amazing seeing her, having her last meet with us, sharing it in Pauli Pavilion, her home. And I have to say, when I watched her doing bars, I did tear up. This was definitely one of my highlights. And then also our Bruin sisters, Kyla and Maddie, blowing up all the balloons and making it really pretty for us and really special and we felt super honored as the seniors being celebrated. It felt like they were there with us because they put so much effort into our senior meet and getting to feel the poly energy, I just don't think it could have ended any better way. So can you thinking back to your freshman year coming in, not being in lineup that much and now being the leader of Beam, like how do you feel, what has changed? Like maybe you can just talk a little bit about those four years, how you transitioned. Honestly, it's been a crazy dream come true. I just never expected to even come to UCLA first and foremost. And then it was the next goal of, I wanted to make lineups. I wanted to compete for UCLA. And then the icing on the cake is lead off on Beam. I just feel like I've met all the goals I've set for myself and I couldn't be more proud of what I've done and it wouldn't have been possible without this group of women behind me. And I just feel like the atmosphere that this produces here at UCLA just leads you to be great. Yeah, and it's great to have you and you really like give the team a great energy. Also, I wanted to ask you, like, I think everybody sees how happy you are after every routine you do. What is it in you and how do you find this joy competing this season without the audience? I think that I've just gone into this year with like such gratitude because there's so many people who aren't getting to do what they love and 
I am getting to do what I love, even though it's a little bit different. Getting to be here with you guys and feeling your guys' love, like, is really all I needed. And the fans are amazing and they make Polly so lively and fun, but what I really do it for is the reaction from my teammates and the love I have for the sport. And COVID hasn't taken those away from us. And I feel like the team has really honed in on those things that just mean so much to us. Yeah, and I'm sure the fans still enjoy those reactions and those parties too. All of them. <laughs> so now we talked a lot about gymnastics and your love for the sport and the team. We're really close, we study together. I see your determination in school. Was this something you've always worked really hard for or is this something that came to you in college? I've always really, really loved school and I've always just pushed myself to do the very best I can because I really do just love learning. So all throughout elementary school, middle school, high school, like I always had this love for school and always pushed myself sometimes probably a little too hard. I get really worked up about grades. I get that. Just Can like you. you. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> we're working through it. <laughs> but I we think we also that did get better. We I'm did. not gonna lie. We, we got did. better. We're more relaxed now. <laughs> we're we're chill Our seniors. Our last quarter <laughs> at UCLA, we're chilling. You Just wait. staying up to like 2 a.m., not 3 a.m. anymore to study. <laughs> yeah, but I think being here at UCLA definitely like makes it stronger too because you're surrounded by so many students and like people who just love learning the same way that you do. And I think that that's something so amazing and I'm so happy I get to experience it. Yeah, and I think definitely also when you grow up and you're in school longer, you learn to appreciate it more and you take in the material differently, which is really cool, especially being at UCLA, talking to great professors, just learning from there and their wisdom. It's really inspiring yeah honestly learning from you as well like to get a different perspective from somewhere across the globe that's really almost invaluable information that i haven't been able to experience yet so getting a new perspective from my german best friend has been <laughs> i don't think you can top that i know you switched your major tell us a little bit about this like what did you come in as and what made you switch the major and how do you like it i was thinking business before I came to college, but then choosing UCLA. UCLA doesn't have a undergrad business program. So I decided I'd do econ just because that's kind of like similar. With athletics, I was finding myself really, really stressed and I was finding myself not learning the way I wanted to and didn't feel like I found my passion there. And so I switched my major my junior year and I am now a poli-sci major. It was definitely a big decision that was actually harder than I thought it would be to put econ aside and go a different route that would make more sense for me. And I think that I couldn't imagine not making that switch now and I'm so happy I did. I also noticed a big switch in your mindset about studying that you retain the information differently. It's great talking to you and you have developed like different own views and teaching me That's been something really unique and definitely stood out to me right away. You mentioned before that you don't really know like where you want to go into, but do you have any idea what the next year is going to look like? I hope the next year looks like a lot of fun. I really, <laughs> I really do. I have so much fun here and I don't know how I'm going to recreate that. Before COVID, I really wanted to take a year off and travel. I was planning on going to Germany to see her. I know. They keep telling me they come to Germany, all of them. I'm like, so when do you finally come, huh? <laughs> But I truly think, I don't know, because she hasn't booked anything and then COVID hit. I truly think she was planning on coming last summer. I was. <laughs> and then obviously it wasn't possible, but I'm still waiting. And I really, really want to show you around in Germany and Europe and can't wait to just like travel together and kind of immerse you into my culture after I've been here for so long and yeah. learned a lot. So that would be a dream of mine. I know, <laughs> I'm so excited to when that's possible, but that's kind of my goal going forward with whatever I do. I just like really want to take a different perspective on life and slow it down because with gymnastics, I feel like I've been so rigid and focused on training and school. And I don't feel like I've let myself completely branch out adding that into my life following such a period of discipline and hard work I feel like it's going to be really helpful before I take on the next step of my life. Yeah. I think so too and I think with gymnastics in school it's easy to fall in this pattern of being really disciplined but those things kind of like breaking out of yourself and discovering new sides of life but also new sides 
of your personality yourself is gonna help you in the future to find what makes you happy, what makes you successful, the way you want to live life. And I think that's a great way to like have life and goals after college. Yeah, I'm excited to catch up with you frequently and see where we are at and hopefully see each other frequently too. Yeah, me too, we're going to. I'm putting it out in the universe right now. <laughs> and not to forget one of our traditions on Brew and Banter, Twitter questions. Amy Erickson says, Kenny, congrats on being incredible, you and being an awesome leader this season. My question is, what advice will you leave to the rest of the team as you graduate and move on? How might you encourage them as they all embrace their unique roles on the team? We've kind of already started that and kind of leaving little tidbits of advice. And I think that one of the big ones has been, you came here to UCLA because it has a specific legacy and making sure that you obtain and maintain that legacy has been one of our goals in the second half of this season. That overall goal holds the advice of working really hard, but also really having fun when you're doing it. And just really finding that joy and that gratitude through the little things like getting to places early and making sure you show up ready to go and you're making time for your teammates and you're checking in with people and just fostering good relationships all around. And that's what makes the hard work worth it. Yeah, and we definitely felt that coming here from our seniors, being taught, being introduced to this legacy, and now we just try to keep it going, and we hopefully teach the now lower classmen to then, when once they're seniors, to teach their new freshmen. Yeah, it's just how you show up for people, and our seniors freshman year couldn't have done that any better, and I think that I hope I've done half of a as good a job as those seniors did. <laughs> I know, I really hope. Second question, another question I really liked, that's why I picked it. <laughs> From Nancy, Kenny, do you miss Little League Baseball? You were one heck of a player. <laughs> I do, I do miss Little League Baseball. I go up, whenever we go up to the softball stadium, I'm like, dang it, maybe I should take a fifth year and play softball. <laughs> that was, that, that was Kyla's fun. plan for a little bit, but I loved baseball. I really, me and Pula love anything that's competitive. Um, I had so much fun playing a bunch of different sports growing up and baseball was my favorite sport outside of gymnastics. Um, I played it until I was probably like 11 or 10. I played it for a while, but I miss it. And I will probably be joining a co-ed softball team or a recreational league of some sort when I'm done here because I just can't give up sports. I yeah. can't give up competing. <laughs> I think I'm gonna play volleyball or something. I'm really excited to do that. I always wanted to play lacrosse with Deanna too yeah. because I've never done it. But yeah, definitely what you said, like love doing outside sport and like exploring ourselves and how good we can get. Yeah, we love being outside with all this wind and the elements. <laughs> and now to my favorite part as always, my German sentence for Kenny. Ich freue mich schon sehr, dich in Deutschland zu besuchen. Oh, you said that was short. I did not say that. <laughs> ich freue mich. Ich freue mich schon sehr. Schon sehr. Dich. Dich. In Deutschland. In Deutschland. In Deutschland. Zu. Zu. Besuchen. Besuchen. Almost. We'll take it. We'll take it. Does it say? Wait. I know what it says. Uh, something I'm gonna come to Germany to see her? Yeah! I said that I'm so excited to finally see you in Germany or visit you in Germany. Deutschland! Deutschland! She's practicing already. I go to their apartment and I'll teach them German sometimes here and there. And Kenny's actually getting better. Getting better. That's it for today, but don't forget to check out our next meet at regionals. By now we have probably competed at Pac 12 And then in the next episode, we will know more about where exactly we were gonna go for regional. So keep an eye out for all that. And thank you so much, Kenny, for being on the show. It was a lot of fun having you as my first guest on campus outside. And I'm really happy that we were able to do this. And it was, yeah, a lot of fun. So much fun. So grateful to be here again and be doing Bruin Banter in person. Yay! Bye guys!